Uck in the Anshan. This was the next requested replay. We're at 4 o'clock. I'm probably going to stop at about 5, so... Two more replays after this. And that's a pretty good run. That gets me replays through next weekend. And beyond, I think. I think beyond, too. How many have we done? I don't know. Whatever. Anshan! A, uh... An Evni class destroyer. Oh, good. The camera's back. Thank you, camera. Um, oops. Did I just... Oh, wait! Did it, did it get fixed? Oh my god, it got fixed, guys! You don't know what I'm talking about. You hit the N key to pause the game before when he did that. It actually froze the camera position. Now the camera position still moves. I can pause at will again. This is so huge for doing screenshots and all that. I know you guys are just like, whatever. But look at... Oh, come on, get that other ship in the frame. No. And Chad at the head of the fleet. I love it. All right, good screenshot right there. So Fish Rock, he sent in a few uh, replays before. Anchan, um, let's see, what do you got? Uh, Flood Chance, Commander XP, and Consumable Reload. I'm guessing you just have a lot of extra of those, so whatever. Um, Anchan, very fast, good torpedoes, eight kilometers, pretty good um, main guns as well. It's just a fun ship. Um, also, just like the Leningrad, very slow turret traverse, so expert marksman is almost a must. Yeah, whatever. Chat is chat. Sometimes you ignore it, sometimes you try to farm it, but, you know, whatever you want to do. The cool thing about the Anshan is it was the very first ship to come out to offer a free XP bonus. You got a 100% bonus to free XP, um, in addition to a, I believe it was a 50% bonus to regular XP, or a 30%, something like that. So, it's a fun ship. Now, you're in a carrier battle... You're tier 7, so you're mid-tier. That's not too bad. Um, so carrier might be a threat, but most of the rest you don't have to worry about. Pensacola can be a real... I mean, all those cruisers can be a threat to you. Battleships, too. <sighs> NA chat. Now, your team, you've got, you're obviously divisioned up with a Mutsu and a Queen Elizabeth. So that's kind of cool. Um, they kind of help each other a little bit. And Fish Rock is using premium consumables as well. Good stuff. Just like the uh, Leningrad, this ship can get incredibly fast as well. So it's a really good, it's a really good all-around ship. And when it was uh, when ranked was tier six, a lot of people liked to play this ship. Um, I had okay results with it personally. The eight-kilometer torps are nice, and then you go down to um, what's the concealment on it? There it is, seven. So you can stealth torp, which is nice. Independence takes down the Nicholas at the start. That's good. Um, I don't know that I would be turning towards torpedo planes right now. Two things. You should have your... There it is. It's too late now, but you should have your anti-air off. And two, when you saw those planes coming, pop your smoke and slow down. But look at, look at this level of speed. I mean, it's just kind of like, yeah, okay, fine. This is going to be harder to dodge. Speed boost, speed boost now. 
Oh, you got it. Never mind. Nice dodges, man. That's good stuff. But yeah, I would have I would have uh, slowed down, smoked up, made sure the anti-air is off, and then when I'm in smoke and I'm safe, then if you want to send out anti-air guns, you could. I don't know that I would anyway, because I don't want the carrier to know where I'm at. Um, Pensacola's coming around. There's an opportunity to torpedo the Pensacola here. He's at your range to send torps right up through that channel there. Um, kind of a lost opportunity there, but we could have done that. Elite Pro WASD Hexors, indeed. Now your um, your Mutsu buddy is going to make short work of that Pensacola in Omaha anyway, I think. We'll see. Spotted by Carrier, and now it's going to be really tough to uh, stay unspotted. Oh, somebody else from your clan. That's cute. Yep, there goes the Omaha. Now, a little bit early on the tourist. Wait, if you want to launch those, you should wait till nine kilometers if he's coming your way. He's a short, he's a slow ship. So, yes, uh, if he's going full speed at you, um, generally speaking, one kilometer rule applies, maybe even two if it's a faster ship, but... I don't know that I would. If I were you, I'd slow down and smoke up and pew pew away at the new mechs. Especially with those bombers coming in. Nice. Moving around the smoke is always a good idea, especially when you've got enemies. He's pulling the bombers away though, so now you've got the opportunity to pew pew at the new mechs. I don't know why you're not though. Slow down, back up. Back up! I mean, you got a minute, so why not use that for free damage farming? Especially since he's not moving. Unless he's a friend and you don't want to hurt him. Don't you want to hurt him. See, he's backing up, so... See, if you were in the smoke, you could be shooting there all day long, and it don't matter. Instead, you're gonna derp into an island. <laughs> That's alright, though. So, the uh, Omaha is dead, the, the Pensacola is dead. Your buddy in Mutsu is doing okay, your Queen Elizabeth is doing okay. Those guys down south are camping really hard, so one thing you could do is you could go right down into here and torque them from the side. You've got eight hits so far, no damage. <laughs> but you've got two full base caps, so that's good. New York is asking for some help. Uh, SAT says the Nivni is clearly hanging around caps. His last spot was down here, but he just took down a cruiser here. So yeah, he was probably sitting in smoke and pew-pewing. See, I would have... Especially with that Pensacola moving off, I would have gone down here. Come right around this island and torp the new mechs. Easy. Easy damage. Going this way, you're going to run probably headlong into the, uh, the Ryujo, which is over here. Maybe over here. So you're going to give him round two. Now would be a good opportunity to use some speed boost. Try to track down the carrier. Be a little bit more aggressive, maybe. I mean, you don't need to. You're clearly winning. You've got three caps to one. You've got a ship advantage, too. Our victory is in 
Your Queen Elizabeth is gonna get attacked. Gee, where is he? There he is. I don't know what the carrier is doing with this fighters. Maybe trying to strafe and failing miserably. That can happen. Yep, there is the strafe. Okay. So that's good. I mean, he actually he actually took out a lot of planes right before right before he hit. So that's good. Here comes the Nevni. Yeah, I agree. I'd like to see him be a little more aggressive here. Like SAT says, going to C. I mean, the enemy's going to run, so what's the point? So, I mean, I would either go down here and then torp in the side, or, I mean, go straight after the carrier. Now, once you get into the cap, you're going to alert the enemy that you're there. You have a Cleveland heading your way. And a Britagna. Carrier's right behind the island. Here's the Cleveland, though. You have to keep your... I would keep your guns left. Yep. There he is. I would keep your guns left in this case, because you want to shoot this guy, but you also want to get away from the Cleveland. And torpedoes. There you go. Uh, don't go wide. There... Back to guns, back to guns. Cleveland is shooting at you, you gotta turn away. Now you're in range of the secondaries of this thing as well. Torpedoes coming in from the side. Oh, you got lucky, you didn't notice them. Yeah, SAT is suggesting save one set of torps. That would have been a good idea. And yeah, you could just park right behind the island instead of going out to where you are right now. That would have helped. Now the Ryujo is just charging you because um, then you spot you get spotted like right there. Now you're getting squeezed. Another good opportunity to send torps there that you didn't do. Torps. No, not on the not on the indicator before him, in front of him. He's gonna know that you torped at him. And he's gonna change course as soon as. So one of the things I like to do is I like to place one just a little bit. Um, in front of the indicator and then about halfway to the enemy ship. I often find that that works out pretty well. But you've died, so that means I get to use that as your cover slide. Look at that. Although I did like the picture I took of you earlier with the... Um, with the, uh, the fleet in the background and stuff, so maybe I'll still use that one, but... Still kind of a fun, fun picture. Oh well. Yeah, and I agree. Hey, justice. I, I do agree with um, with carefree tongue here. Um, you know, you could have also chosen not to shoot your guns and just wait for your torpedoes to reload, um, and then shot only when he was two kilometers away from you. That might have helped. Um, but yeah, getting out of the smoke and panicking there didn't help because then the Cleveland had easy shots on you. So, all in all, um, I would say, you know, find that balance of aggression, of when to push and when to pull back. It seemed like you weren't quite sure when you wanted to jump in and when you wanted to leave. And I think you were trying to leave a little bit too much and not willing to jump in when you had some really good opportunities to use your torps. Um, those of you watching, anything else you want to comment? And 
while you're thinking about that, um, here's what I've got for replays. I've got two sets of Des Moines. I've got Yu Yang.